Hey, what's up guys? Tizzle Gamer here and welcome to Something Bad Happened on the Moon. Now this is another itch.io itch game that I've seen uh, circulating around and the description for this game reads the Apollo 17 mission was the last publicly disclosed mission to the moon. Since then, numerous missions have been launched in absolute secrecy. Something very bad happened on Apollo 17 and we recorded it. So with that, I mean, that's all the context that we have for this game. I'm pretty sure it's going to be an interesting video, so make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, turn on notifications, all that stuff. So let's begin. I mean, yeah, this is the intro. This is the main menu. You just start recording. Just, you know, press the button. December 19, 1972 marked the date of last publicly disclosed moon landing. Where's the at? Since then, eight classified lunar missions were authorized in absolute secrecy. I found the video recording which instigated which instigated those classified missions. Something is on the moon. Well, ain't that some brother? Something's on the moon. And somehow, when I saw this footage last week, I think it noticed me. What? Recorded December 20th, 1972. Final public lunar mission. Lieutenant Marcus Rennet. Ren okay. Tranquility Base, this is Houston. You are go for EVA. Please confirm status of your suit systems and PLSS before proceeding to the equipment site. Over. Roger that, Houston. This is Tranquility. Suit systems are green across the board. PLSS is operating within nominal parameters. Preparing to egress the LM. Over. Copy Tranquility. Take your first steps carefully. The radar receiver at radar site November has recently failed. Its last telemetry sweep before your EVA noted a transient signal 1500 miles southwest of your position. Likely a sensor echo. Proceed with manual receiver reset. Over. Understood, Houston. It's eerie out here. Reminds me of my last walk on the lunar surface. The solitude. The silence. You know, the human brain craves faces. And this solitude makes me see them in the hills. Moving towards the waypoint now. Over. Copy, Tranquility. It's funny, Apollo 11 was the only mission where no one said they saw faces in the rocks. Must be hard to think about anything else when you're the first people to ever touch the moon, I suppose. Ever since then, someone on every lunar mission has mentioned it. Over. Copy, Houston. I'll make sure to inform you if any little green men pop out of the ground and eat me. Until then, though, I'm en route to the radio installation. Over and out. Okay, I can finally commentate now. First and foremost, I don't I don't remember anything that they just said. Second of all, the Why I sound like this dude is Leon? Leon Kennedy. That's how he, that's how he talking right now, all corny and stuff. And also, I need to check if I'm actually recording my voice audio. Gook. Yes, I am. Okay. So let's book it. I mean, we have a shift key. We can sprint. I mean, he was talking about keeping a lookout for little green men, but I don't think if there's going to be any type of green men out here, I don't think they're going to be little, okay? Like, I can jump, too. Oh, look at that. I'm gliding. I'm gliding through the air. Well, there ain't no air. I mean, we're in space. We're on the moon. Where's the Earth at? Why can't I see it? Are we on the dark side of the moon? No, we can't be because there's some, there's light. All right. I mean, this is a pretty uh, e 
clear terrain in atmosphere, so... Tranquility, be advised, another lunar radar installation, 2300 miles east, reported a brief unidentified object crossing the lunar horizon, then went dark. Similar profile to your anomaly. It's puzzling, but proceed as planned. Over. Copy. When I reach the radar, I'll make an assessment of the receiver's functionality. Tell me, though, what is believed to be the source of the radar signatures? Over. Copy Tranquility. Current theory is high-velocity micrometeoroids, or possibly debris. Anomalous, but not unprecedented. Maintain focus on your objective. Over. Roger that, Houston. I have to admit that this situation has put me a bit on edge. I think I've been seeing things that aren't really there. Maybe just reflections off my visor. I just keep staring at the hills. Over. Tranquility. We are confident that the mission state is nominal. Stay calm and focus on fixing the receiver. You'll get some rest soon. Update us when you reach the radar site. Over and out. Oh, uh, what is? Oh, look at that! What is that? What is that? I know you see it. Oh yeah, yeah. Ain't no way that's moving. Like nah, nah. You see, nah. That, that's not a star. That's a face. That's a face. That's someone's head poking up. Okay. Um. I might actually edit in subtitles for this game because I can't barely hear what they're saying. I hear just a little bit, but not everything. But I can see. I got 2020 vision. I can see that right in front of me. Is there a bunker? Houston, come in. I've made it to the radar site. Over. Roger. Tranquility. We need you to assess the condition of the receiver and run a system reboot. After the reboot completes, stand by, as we will need to ensure that the reboot fixes the system. But be advised over the last few minutes, almost all lunar installations have experienced significant technical problems. The cause is currently unknown. Over. Understood, Houston. Something about this situation just isn't right. The receiver looks perfectly fine to me. No damage at all. All diagnostics are green. But the receiver is failing to detect any return signatures. I'll reboot the system now. Over. Roger, tranquility. Update us if the situation changes. Over. Yeah, yeah, um... We have two anomalies in the present of... Uh, vicinity of uh, vicinity uh, okay um yeah we have two anomalies out here i'm gonna uh okay i'm gonna press e what's that big one over bro uh, okay they didn't move that was just particles we are cooked i mean this is a bad spot to be in we're not getting off the moon this is a recording Okay, now what? Hey, no way someone can sneak up to me. I got clear hearing. You hear that? Radar is operational tranquility. Well done. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the scans on my screen right now. It looks good. Um, tranquility. I'm picking up a small object traveling in your direction right now. Oh, sh It's moving fast. Very fast. I cannot get a read on the exact speed. Patching into your HUD now. It's 2,250 miles away. Please return to the capsule. Oh, nah. Nah. The capsule? Oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm booking it. Am I just going... I'm cooked. I'm cooked. The Xenomorph is on me. The Xenomorph is on me. Tranquility. Oh, tranquility. Tranquility. We need you to stay where you are. Please do not move. You are safe here. You are safe. No. He. You are safe here. 
We need you to stay where you are. Please do not move. No. You are safe here. No. I ain't turning around either. Tranquility, the command module has begun its journey back to us. Nope, I'm jumping. Stay where you are, stay calm. No. And we will mm -hmm. recover you shortly. No. That's a hack. I ain't turning around. I don't got my mouse sensitivity up for that. No, mm -mm. I ain't not turning around. I ain't doing that. It's gonna be right in front of me. It's gonna be on the side of me. It's gonna be behind me. It's gonna be behind. It's gonna be below me. It's gonna be on top of me. I ain't turning around. You, you got me twisted. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. No. No. I ain't turning around. I'm literally flying through the. Where's my jet? Why I get hit with the same jump scare sound effect as in Fears to Fathom? I... Okay, so this is the next game that I found on Itch, and it's called The Dog. It's just simply called The Dog. What's the game about? Well, it's about the dog. Well, actually, there. Oh, well, actually, there is a description, and it reads. Some middle-aged man has a normal life, house, family, and as everyone, some secrets. But all, but not all secrets can be hidden forever. All right, so let's. Uh, okay, so I already know the entire plot of this game. The dog gets angry and breaks loose. Start a new game. Yes. Got some little fanciness to it with that little zoom in into the dog house. Oh, use headphones. Mm hmm. The dog. By. I don't know how to say that. Look at these pixels. Thank you so much. Mm. Pancakes with some butter. Mm -hmm. Have breakfast with the family. <laughs> that nice little house and this and that. Look at the pixels on that cereal box. Look at the cereal. He look. He look like. It look like. Uh. He poured the milk in first, then the cereal. That's crazy. Look at that. You got some bread. With some. What's that? Butter. And then you got some bread with a. What type of crap is that? Are you insane? Got some orange juice. Now that could be lemonade. Who knows? <laughs> now eat. Oh, crunchy, crunchy. What was that? How all this happened after me just eating one piece of pancake? Can I get up? I can't talk to them. They just don't care. Okay. We have a werewolf in our house. Or in our basement. These are the... Daddy, who is that? Don't worry, pal. It's just our dog. Yeah, our, our, our man dog. That's just calm down the dog. I want to eat. Hold up. Why is that piece of piece of butter sitting there on the side? Can't even eat my pancakes. Got plastic fork and fork and knife. You already know that ain't doing nothing. Can I grab this? Yeah, I'm gonna just sit right back down. Never mind. Alright. This is, um... Be quiet! I could just leave. I mean... Hey, shut up! He was like, Okay, I'm hungry. I need food. I can't even open the door. That door is locked from the inside and the outside. That's insane. Okay. You got something to say? You got something to say? You got something to say? You gonna say something? See how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine. Okay. She's traumatized. He is confused. And I'm gonna eat my pancake. Mm -mm -mm. Why is the piece of butter just sitting there? 12.35 p.m. Uh, missing people. 
Oh, that's that's great. Before I go downstairs, I'm gonna just look outside. Uh, this looks like a fierce to fathom environment if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh wow, we can go into all these rooms. This must be the master bedroom. All right, now let's walk around the. And uh, okay, that place is locked. That's locked too. That's great. Um, find out who was ringing. Yeah, the police. Why well, look like you in in the photo right here? Yes. Sir, we are investigating a recent fire at a grocery store. Just asking the neighbors if anyone had saw anything. Okay. No, we usually shop at the mall. That is okay. Uh, never mind that. You see, that was um. Uh, that's just our job. That's just our dog. You see, it, it, um, it's in the basement, right? That's where we keep it. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it has the boo boo. So, if you don't mind me, I I just gotta close the door and um, you know, you know, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Just, uh, how's your day been going? Is it been going okay, officer? I mean, I mean, it does look, kind of look like you in the photo right here. It says missing people, so I don't know. Like, are you missing? Them? Are you really the officer? Are you just here to get my dog? I mean, um, yeah, we go to the mall. We go to the mall. That's all we do. Right. Sorry for the disturbance. Sorry, I couldn't be more of a help, officer. Where you going? Oh, I was about to. <laughs> Wait, what? 8.08 p.m. Okay, so it went from the afternoon to night. That's crazy. Honey, can you take a look at the TV? I think it doesn't work. Right. What do you expect me to do? You think I'm some type of handyman? Yes! You don't want to complain about the TV? Why don't you fix it? Got me doing all this stuff. I got to deal with this dog that's in the basement probably seven feet tall. Trying to get out. Like, come on now. Tell one of the kids to do it. I don't got time for this. Shoot, the TV mounted on the wall in the first place. How do you expect me to even deal with that? You expect me to take the TV off the wall and start messing with it with some with a with a screwdriver and a hammer? Think that's gonna fix something? You ugly. Why did I even fix TV instruments in bedroom? Instruments. Okay, we're gonna play the violin and then the TV gonna turn on. That's what we're gonna do. What is that? I don't like that image. Um, instruments. That's a that's a peculiar name for uh, tools. Where are the instruments? They just don't exist. Okay, great. I don't like. Of course, that'd be there. We play baseball anyway. Oh yes. This is a toolkit game, not instruments. Oh, look, it's, it got lavender color outside. Where's the. Okay, they're all. Yeah, y'all just want me to fix this TV, huh? How about I use these tools to bust open the door and let the dog out? Can I go outside? Nope. Yeah, just fix it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, yeah, man. You got this whole TV. This it's just stuck to the wall, and all I gotta do is just some get a wrench and be like, yeah, Popeye for president. Daddy, you were the best. Yay, cartoons. Y'all foolish. I bet that I bet my video got copyrighted based off of that little bit of dialogue. 108 a.m. Why I leave these closets open? Oh, what happened to your head? <laughs> 
Oh no. <laughs> that's I don't think that's a healthy position to have your head at, man. Awakened by noise. Everything is okay, dear. I will handle it. His name is Louise. That means he uh lives in Louisiana. Yeah. Oh wow. She got a really flexible neck. So is our dog the small dog? I'm just wondering if that's the case. Is our dog the small dog? Oh yeah, we're cooked. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ain't nowhere to ain't nowhere to hide in here, man. Hey, just for your own safety, you should get in here. I'm just saying, like you should just get in the closet right here. Like you see, there's um okay, not that one. See, there's some room in here, and uh, also. Oh, I gotta take the back. I didn't even. Yeah, time for some good old animal abuse. Imagine he was just knocking on the door right outside the bedroom, the bedroom door. Yeah, we we must be. I'm good. He stopped knocking on the door, so I can go to sleep. I don't need to do any of that. He stopped knocking on the door. Put the bat down. Put it down. So, you're going to tell me, right? We got a whole man dog, dog man, in our basement. We got no guns. We got no silver bullets. We ain't got nothing. We got no bear traps. We ain't got no flamethrowers. We got no RPGs. We don't have no pepper spray. We don't even have dog food. We don't even have dog biscuits. Are you serious? This is all your fault. We got the small dog in our basement. And you, like, dude, he was twisting it on the door, man. He was twisting on the door. We're cooked. He already got out. We're cooked. I will beat your head in with this bat. Huh? Okay. We got an eight foot tall dog man in our house. And I bet if he's in the basement, he's going to be in the corner hiding. And then we're cooked. This game is not going to have a good ending. Just be like the first game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's just, a, that's just a fridge. Can I get some uh, Can I get some of this? Can I put it in there? I'm a lot more scared than I usually am. Fight or flight. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um. <gasps> what are you doing out here? Nope. Everything is under control. I'm going to just go back to bed. Oh, boy. Come on, man. We're in a suburban area. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> I got the vacuum. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> a.m. <laughs> that was a man. That was a man. That was a man. That that was a dude. That was a that was a. Okay, ain't nothing to be scared of. That was a man. Now I'm locked in here, right? Uh, try the door handle. Push the door. Let's see. Try to do it. Oh, okay. Let's just do it again until the handle breaks off. In 
indistinct chatter. Hey, Billy, is it you? Kate, I? Don't worry, pal. It's just our dog. I will kick down this door with my big old right foot. Okay. Well, a minute. What the heck just, bro? No, no. Um, no. There was someone in here, and then he got out, and then now I'm down here, bro. on with this nonsense how did he get out but I didn't it's like why do you have a whole person in your basement huh we deserve to be down here locked up this don't make no sense I'm getting Woo! look at these pixels Woo! we gotta love these pixels the dog yeah, it's about us. This game could have been really, really scary, but mm, nah, it's just a whole man in your basement that you just have down there for some reason. No! No. There has to be a way to get out. So that has been something bad is on the moon and the dog. Now, the first game, it, um, for what it was, it really did have the atmosphere, especially with, you know, the space people looking over the cliffs, the hills. But apparently they weren't the threat because, uh, there was just this other type of entity that was headed towards my location at a million miles per hour. So that was fun. I mean, yeah, it was scary when the moon, like, when everything got dark on the moon, but it's like, how how did that even happen, realistically speaking? Like, this creature probably, it, like, it, it moved the moon. It rotated it, okay? I was cooked. It rotated the moon. That's how it got dark like that. And then when it happened, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I could have went to the spaceman, but I'm not doing that. Nope. I don't got, I don't have the guts to do all that now. I may be brave, but I ain't stupid. And for this game, the dog, I mean, yeah. This game could have been really freaking scary, dude. Like, I'm thinking, like, oh, we got the small dog in our basement. We got this, we just got this whole freaking SCP, SCP character down here in the basement. No, it was just a man. It was just a man. He pick locked the door and then he got out and then here I am getting stuck. Like how did he even peek his head around the corner? I had the bat. Like what? Did, what even happened there? Did, did I just get jump scared and I fell down the stairs and hurt my head and I f knocked myself out, fell unconscious, and then he was able to trap me in the door, trap me down there and then people were like, oh don't worry guys, it's just the dog. It's like what? Some type of time loop? Really? Something like that? Not even a time loop, but like just a, a loop. A cycle. Or is it like a back and forth where like, okay, I get out. And then I sabotage him and then he's stuck down there again. And then he gets out and he sabotages me and be like that forever. But anyway, I mean, yeah, these are these are two, two decent indie games on itch.io. So... I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, hit that bell, turn on notifications for when I post another video. I've been Tease on the Gamer, and I'll see y'all next one. Bye, guys.